So, good morning. It's a little bit chilly on the Yorkshire coast, uh, but we've uh, we've come to uh, Brunswick Bay. Uh, we're going to go north to Port Mulgrave. So, got the fossil dog with me today. Come. Yes. There we go. So, have a little look, see what we can find this way, and then I might go have a look at the grey shales. Uh, yeah, let's see what we can find. Right, so, just now look at the first bay. It's definitely changed a bit with the uh, the rough weather. First sign I want. Very snackered is that. Definitely a cold, bitey wind. There you go. First find of the day, I've only been on the beach two seconds. Little ducky. Happy about it. Put that in the pocket. There's a lot of sand being dragged up on this little bit. like it needs a good tap doesn't it? Get the hammer out and give that a little tap. Looks very uh, promising. Not a nodule. A little sea urchin shell. It's a dead one unfortunately. Quite cool though. Don't see them every day. Well, I just found this uh, little battered nodule. You can see there's bits in it already. Just tapped it. <laughs> Look at that, isn't that a beauty? There's another, another little one on that side, lovely. And there's another one. Oop. A little bit of damage but it's mostly there. Looks likely nodule as well. I don't see anything on it. I'll have to give that a little tappy tap. Oh, Ooh, that's annoying. <laughs> Did have one in and it's not broken very well. Oh uh, well. Never mind. <coughs> a big duck in there. Big duck. Doesn't matter. You lost your stick. Where's your stick? Where's your stick? Right, big duck. Nice one for the bag. Well, that's come a fair way down the coast. <laughs> right for you. And there's another little one. And there. I'm finding loads of nodules, but there is a few about. Uh, little patches of them here and there. So I can't film them everything because, you know, sometimes it's just ducks. There's anything else in there. Another one on the edge there, look. Tap that open and there we go, quite warm but a nice little middle on that. A little deck. Okay, come across a bit of this stuff. So this is uh, not a fossil. It is actually a structure called coning cone. It's to do with a compression deposition, something like that, of minerals but yeah, it's always weird stuff. Looks like tree fern. But yeah, not a fossil. 
I definitely come across a little patch of stuff that's washing out here. A lot of it is worn, but uh, yeah, mostly that's mostly there. A bit of wear. Also a lump here. Got some signs on. Might be worth tapping that again. So yeah. That looks a likely nodule. There's one in there. More bits. Yeah, it's a big nodule there actually. There's one down there as well. Oh. Probably not in that one. There's a big nodule just nestled in here. That's well and truly stuck between those rocks. There's another nodule there. Uh. Again, not, not guaranteed to have much in, but you never know. So yeah, definitely uh, you do find that the occurring patches. Let's give these a little hammer and then we'll move on. So not too much. I'm not bothered hammering that one because we, we know it's there. We prep from that side quite nicely, but this big, big bit just revealed a nice bit of keel there. That's a nice, uh, nice stack in there. Lovely, and a nice big bit of matrix as well. That'll look brilliant when it's prepped up. I literally just stepped two foot away, and oh, look at that! Hey, <laughs> a little, uh, little day. Not each one, but oh, lovely. And next to it looks a bit warm, but again, give that a tap. Yeah, more stuff. It's definitely a little patch here. Oh, that's a shame. Oh well, never mind. But, yeah, the area looks a nice nodule and it's been battered already. Yeah. Mm, too small. You see, it's a great sorter out of things. It does seem to clump. Oh, look at that nodule there. Oh, I don't have something, I'll be surprised. Right, that's definitely a time for a little bash. Find somewhere to do it. It has got one in. Uh, quite a big, big dack in there. That's the outer whirl. I'm pretty sure the inner will probably be there. So, yeah, nice dack. I just bent down to pick this one up, and <laughs> yes. oh, and it's not there. <laughs> Alpha. Never mind. But in there, <laughs> there's another one. So I think this is actually the bed. So this clay here, it's obviously been ripped up. There's a bit of an exposure here. It's getting ripped up by the sea and it's just exposing the bed, which is why there's suddenly a, a few nodules cracking about. So yeah, we're spending a little bit of time just looking because yeah, I've picked up quite a few from here so far. So yeah, keep looking. Oof. The one there. Find a few more. Again, it's in there, you can see. Oh, it's quite windy. Port Mulgrave just there in the distance, I'm not going all the way there. I'm just going to have a look in this next bay and then uh, turn around head back. It's not the best tides this week and I do want to go somewhere else before uh, the tide's uh, too far in. A little negative there, look. Always nice to see those. 
Is in the right spot. A bit worn, really, but for how nice and decorative. Well, Z Potmull Grave in the distance. There's a couple more fossil hunters gone past, uh, but they've left me one there. Ooh, love seeing them like that. Straight out of the cliff, that one. Mouth border there. Bit, bit showing there. Bit showing there. Don't know if that's even a double, actually. Be one on top of each other. Dak sandwich. That's a lovely one. That nice. Could be worth a little bop as well. Yeah. I'm going to head back now. Pot all grave is well and truly stripped. Looks like there's uh, hardly any rocks at all on this bit. So yeah, I might have a oh. Let's have a, a little one under there, and then back, I think. <laughs> Good, that's the lemon. So, just heading back. Always good to check the, uh, the low tide mark. That's a quite a chunky little duck, is that? So, our world's a bit knackered, but inside will be nice. Duck in the, in the muck. That does look a nice nodule. Oh, he's coming out. Oh, look at that. Oh, ho, ho. That's got to have one in as that. Spot the duck time. <laughs> obvious in it because it's the uh, thing that stands out this one but is it all there? Ooh. Right I'll have a middle I think. Give it a tap and see. Well I saw this and thought oh that's a nice big dac nodule let's give that a little go. And it's a harpo. Or a piece of a harpo anyway. Look at that. I reckon that's that'll probably clean out. That middle cleans out. Could be a nice little piece. Yeah. Interesting. Right, it's amazing how you walk past stuff. Look at that, just sat there. <laughs> Look at the size of that beastie. Big duck in there. Might be one to split at home. Lovely. So, not a bad day at port. Uh, well, I say port, really, it was Runswick Bay. Uh, plenty of stuff showing in those rock fields. Just took a bit of perseverance to have a look. But yeah, some nice looking uh, duck keels. That one. Bit of a beastie. Might tap that later on. It's dark now, so I'm not going to do that inside. But yeah, plenty of little dacks, bits and pieces. A little bit of a hard point, might have a middle. Who knows? That could be a double. Yeah, not a bad day really. Again, should be a nice one. Yeah, quite pleased really. Not bad at all. Then another nice nodule. Might need a bit of a tap because the, the keel's just poking in there. These rusty ones from port do, do usually split pretty well. So yeah. Nothing uh, nothing out of the ordinary. The most exotic thing I think was a small hildy which is in there somewhere. I suppose that half four counts, but it's not a full one. Hildoceros, which hopefully will have a middle. Yeah, all lovely. <laughs>